Today I'm going to be eating like Martin Kitagawa for 24 hours and I am not looking forward to it. We're going to be eating all of that today and maybe a little bit more because uh, I'm going to I'm going to need something else. Today's episode is dedicated to Rezv, one of our premium Discord members. You get the chef's kiss. I couldn't find a mango yogurt, so I grabbed this passion fruit yogurt. That is the closest thing I could find. And then this is the only coffee milk that I could find at a Wajamaya. This is flavored milk drink. I can't just have coffee. That's kind of good. Really sweet. Oh my God. There's 30 grams of sugar in here, Martin. This is how much? This is 130 calories. There's almost nothing in here. This is gonna be good though. I have a feeling. I'd rather have like two of these instead of that. But instead of having this for around 300 calories, why don't you have this for 300 calories? This is 150 grams worth of Greek yogurt, same as this, but it is non-fat. A bit of frozen blueberries, fresh if you can find them, a touch of granola right on top, and then just a cup of coffee. I'd rather have this any day of the week versus these two. I know these are more convenient, but this only took me about three minutes to put together, so come on. They're pretty good though. At least breakfast was easy. Now dinner is also going to be easy and we're going to have both, Martin's version and my version. I have to admit after that breakfast, and having somewhat of a sugary drink, even though I, I admittedly did not finish all of it, my stomach does not feel that nice. But now we have to make dinner and it looks very, very greasy. Although it's going to be very convenient. Karage in a bag. Fried rice also in a bag. Then we have wieners. These are the only wieners I could find. I Maybe they're just like a pork sausage, I guess. And then finally, the natto. I have never had natto before, so this is gonna be an experience for both me and you. Listen. She probably microwaved all of this, all of it, at the same time. So we're gonna take this, do a bunch of rice. They're, those clams are big. They look like lima beans. Look at this clam, it's huge. Gandalf is very excited, he can, can you, hi buddy. Can you, can you smell the clams? Yeah, you can't have any. And then to this, we are adding our beautiful pre-cooked karage. We're gonna do uh, one or two, like one and a half portions. It says four portions per serve or four pieces per serving. So they're, they're actually kind of a decent size, but you know, we'll, we'll do just a, just a few. And now for these wieners, we're only gonna do maybe like three pieces of these. This, this meal ha is, is very greasy, very like super fatty. Do the one and the two and the three. Look at the start of this. Would you guys eat this? Would you eat that? Hmm? Mm. But not though we have to do separately because it, it only cooks for like 30 seconds out of the freezer. You're supposed to let it defrost. I, I didn't let it defrost. Would Marin defrost it? Mm -mm. I haven't had a microwave meal in many years. You know, I, I don't want to smell like clams and chicken by the time this is done. So my Anbu jersey is coming off. This is the Anbu one? Yeah, it is the Anbu one. So this has been in the microwave for four minutes and 30 seconds. Now we got to microwave the natto. So we're just going to let this sit. Over here, it's uh, that is very pungent. Now the natto like comes, it comes wrapped. I've, I've again, I've never had this. I think there's like a sauce that comes with it. And then here's like, you peel this thing back. The instructions were all in Japanese and this is very sticky. So I'm just, I just had to go off of what I read on the internet, which is never a good thing. What is happening with this? Okay, put in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Natto is done. It's been 30 seconds. Now I know a lot of people talk trash about natto. And I, again, I've never had it. So this is going to be an experience. Let us, let us release this from its plastic shell. This whole thing has taken about five minutes. Mmm, mmm, baby. I don't want to eat this. <laughs> Uh, okay, let us let us rearrange rearrange the wieners, rearrange the wieners, so we can get the natto on here as well. Let's just try to at least make it look appetizing. Now the natto is like like gummy. I, I hope it's I hope it's supposed to look like this. I don't know what this is. It smells really pungent. Like almost. I mean, I know it's fermented, but this smells. This is ripe. Do one of those. Put it right on top. It also came with like a sauce packet. I don't know what this is. I think it's a dashi of some kind. I'm gonna throw this on here too, why not? Oh, it's sweet, huh, that's really good. Now, if you're interested in the macros, I will have them listed right over here because uh, this is significant and there's no greens in it. There's like three pieces of onion in that rice. I haven't had a microwave meal in a long time. So we're just gonna dig in and see how this is. And this uh, chicken looks very questionable. So not good. No, not a good chicken. It's like soggy and greasy. Like it's been sitting under a heat lamp for way too long. I know I could have put it in the toaster oven, but she probably used a microwave. Now, how is this? How is this fried rice? It's passable if you like clams. That's that's I don't like that much. And the and the pork sausage. Smoked pork sausage. That's not bad. 
a little sweet. And now finally, the natto. I know you guys have been waiting for me to try this. Look at that thing. It's all nice and slimy. Cheers. Honestly, other than the texture, I kind of like it. A little fermented, kind of sweet from that sauce. That's not bad. Mm. I'm still gonna, not gonna finish this. This is gonna murder my stomach with how much grease is in here. So instead, we're gonna make an at-home version of this, a super easy way so you guys can make this at home and please don't microwave it. So just in case you don't wanna eat that super greasy meal, we're gonna make a very quick version that's just slightly different, but way better for you. Now to make this at-home version, we're gonna take some cut up chicken thighs, dust it with some flour real quickly, make sure it is fully tossed in all of that flour. Then we're going to drop this in just a beaten egg, then throw this into some panko breadcrumbs and pop this onto your sheet tray. This entire process takes about a minute or two. I actually ran out of panko, so we're just gonna put this straight on. A little bit, you know, a little bit of flour. Whatever, cover them with whatever you want, then bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. Now while that chicken is in our little toaster oven, we're just gonna make some fried rice on the stove. Super simple stuff. Now fried rice can be made any way that you want, and the way that I'm making it here is just with a dab of butter followed by one whole egg right onto that butter. We're going to scramble this lightly, trying not to overcook it too much. You don't really want a hard scrambled egg here. Throw in just a bit of that chopped sausage that we used, a couple of handfuls of day old white rice. Give this a good toss, making sure that all those things are starting to combine and then I'm using some frozen corn and some frozen peas. Yes, these are frozen and I do keep them in my freezer at all times and after hitting it with those veggies, hit it with a pinch of salt and you can again season this with whatever you want after you're done throwing everything together and once everything is nicely tossed, your fried rice is ready to go. This legit took about two to three minutes to put together. So these panko chicken nuggets only took about 15 to 20 minutes which I just went around and did stuff around the house while dinner was cooking. They got a little bit of color on each one but I obviously didn't have enough panko for all of it. This is gonna be just fine for when you come home after school or after work and you're trying to eat like Marin Kitagawa. What's great about this fried rice too is that you can actually make a bigger batch of this and just have it sitting in the fridge and reheat it really when you want to, just like I just left it in the pan over there on the stove until the chicken was done. It's gonna be okay. This fried rice already looks way better than that, than that frozen stuff. Come on guys. Not gonna lie, it was way better than that frozen stuff, so load up that chicken onto that rice. Hot or oh hot, why not eat that? that good old natto on there, you know? Last but not least, a little bit of ginger goes a long way. I know not a lot of people would have pickled ginger with their fried rice, but I think it's amazing. I'm gonna top it with a little bit of bachans. Feel free to use whatever sauces you want here or just leave it out. Honestly, it's still really good without any of it, but we're gonna do the bachans. There it is, look at that. A 20 minute substitute to whatever that microwave stuff was that Marin had. We used frozen vegetables. We had leftover rice. These things aren't that hard to keep on hand either. Cheers. Legitimately day and night. Oh, and the fried rice with the natto. Oh yeah, actually this is so good. If you wanna see the other My Dress Up Darling video that I did where I made the meat wrapped onigiri, check out the video right over here. Join our premium Discord so you can get that chef's kiss. My name is Chef BK and remember, keep playing with your food.